Hello, oh, there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here of Past Teachers. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. It's absolutely fantastic to be back again. Thank you for actually making sure to come and watch the show. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being my wonderful peoples. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be playing some Sonic Forces. Yeah, man. The demo for Sonic Forces got dropped on the PSN network for Hong Kong earlier today. Um, I haven't seen this pop up on any of the other stores, so I'm assuming it's actually like a few hours ahead of them. So we actually might be seeing it showing up everywhere else in the next wee while. So I thought, right, jump in, get a bit of gameplay, see what Sonic Forces has got to bring us. Sonic has brought his furry friends, including his brand new one, which is you, which you get to make as you play the game. So we're going to try this. I feel good. So Sonic Team. Sonic Team. My favorite Sonic game was actually not made by Sonic Team, was it? Uh, Sonic CD. Uh, Sonic CD was Sonic Team, but it was like the Japanese side, not the American side. So yeah, Sonic Forces. Flying away at the speed of sound. All right, so each stage for each stage for sixty seconds. So you get sixty seconds of each car. Okay. Shit. Okay, so let's do uh, the three that we've got. We've got the Sonic stage, the Cloud stage, and the Avatar stage. I assume that's what it was going to be. One of the each. So we'll do Sonic stage first. 60 seconds is all we get of each level? Christ. Well, let's see how much we can do in 60 seconds. Oh yeah, I figured that. Eggman's forces are surging into the city. We need you here now. Hold on, Tails. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. <laughs> that voice has got to sound so much more mature than I remember it being. So yeah, uh, Modern Sonic, I've never been a huge fan of. He's just like, not yeah, that super exciting. So they literally hold the button. Oh, all right, so they switch your Ross. Ah, they learned their they learned their lessons. They learned their lessons from the Sonic generations. So yeah, to keep the game actually like flowing this way, I'm kind of comfortable with that. Give us a week, give us a couple of moments where we're actually doing this instead. Going low, going low, going low. Going low. Boom. There's sand everywhere. <laughs> the sand awful is unintentionally just attached to the end of it. So yeah, that was 60 seconds of the modern Sonic game. <laughs> You're in the fucking episode. <laughs> um, this is all. This is what we're getting depicted of the actual game so far. Like 60 seconds is not really not enough. That's the same we robot dude. Is it from? So this is this is definitely a full continuation on from the. Um, from the, what was the most recent one? One with the uh, little fuzzy guy, um, Sonic Unleashed. It seems like it's actually getting even Sonic Unleashed with the same bot that's actually running around with Robotnik, so is the context the same? Kiss your ass goodbye? <laughs> oh, Sonic, you're getting so mature. <laughs> Just gonna give him the finger to the camera. So we do have a dark creature that's Sonic-esque, I imagine. Or is it like a dark clone of you? Well, that means that we just leave Sonic alone now, he's just there. Oh, right, oh shit, wow! That was Chaos, Metal Sonic, and Shadow, and Robotnik all stand side by side? That's... odd. Like, Chaos was not actually a villain, per se, in the original game. But Chaos was just, like, uh, Rage Unleashed, which is a bit surreal. So, yeah, that was the first Sonic stage that we just played through. And it's like, that 60 seconds went through pretty short and quick. We might come back and play each one of these levels at least one more time. Just to see how far I can get into them and see if I can... Like, I mean, 60 seconds. I'm not going to complete a level in 60 seconds, am I? Alright. <laughs> oh, shit! Power exceeds even my expectations. <laughs> my own genius scares me sometimes. That means you miscalculated. That's a failure in my book. Ah! <laughs> to suppress Damn expectations it. is the ultimate of genius. Boom, down you go. I wouldn't expect you to do that. This is the end of countdown. I don't like the fact that it's countdown. Alright, so you did a basic boss and then you have to fight a bigger boss. Okay, fine, fine. We've got 30 seconds to try and take this boss down. I doubt it's gonna happen. Ow. Oh. 
When the hell am I meant to attack him? Oh, that's what it is then, so you have to actually have the black thing back. Okay. Damn it! I thought I'd got him too as well. I actually, if I bounced that across enough times, I would have actually got it. Damn. So yeah, obviously it's playing the same clip each time afterwards. Um, we'll, we'll skip this and go back again. Um, so boss battles with the classic side character plays exactly like you expect. Um, kind, of, kind of like the same way some of the classic levels in Generations did. So a mixture of Generations with the... Uh, so you know, Sonic Mania really kind of like went back and did like a 32-bit Saturn version of what an original Sonic game would be. But even then, that actually looks, that feels comfortable enough for uh, for uh, movement and combat. It's not, uh, it doesn't feel like uh, they've made it as muddy as Sonic 4 was, I suppose the best way to describe it. So he has, plays quite comfortably as a Sonic, like a Sonic style game. Uh, quick and easy movement. Although I don't like the fact the rings are lost whenever you get hit, rather than actually being spawned around stage and allowing you to recatch them. That, that's not, that's not fun. And <laughs> that's never fun. <laughs> So let's jump into an avatar stage and give it a try as well. All right, so we don't really get to change the character at all on this one. And the character's name is Wispon. Okay, fine. Oh, Wispons. Oh, I know, it's a Wispon is actually all the things that we're using. Ah, I get a knife, so. Attacks with fire, press and hold the button and continue spouting flames. Attacks with a whip of lightning, turns an enemy into a cube then that drops wings when broken. Huh. And so like uh, lightning dash gives you a lightning dash. Um supposing this shoots you into the air. And platform made of uh, ice. I think I'm gonna use uh lightning dash, I suppose. It's actually the one I prefer. Oh god, I can't even change. Ah fuck off, Bean. That's how it looks like, it actually does look like Bean. Right, already in movement. SBO here. My team's engaging the enemy. SBO here. I think we can hold them off for now. Form a white. What's that? Press X while jumping to perform a wire attack on the target enemy. Oh, wait. No, wait. Watch out. The masked one is here. The monster that took down Sonic. Stay focused, Rupi. We're off to find a saddle. Uh, well, the weapon special attack. Wait, wait. Oh. The character feels like it's awkward to kind of control with these like additional weapon attacks. It feels like a focus that you didn't really need added in. It's literally it plays like a Sonic game where you're holding square just, but you're doing it with the R2 button. Uh, yeah, same as any other. That works. And that was all we got of that level of the avatar. That the avatar plays all right. So in comparison to the three players you can play as, uh, obviously classic uh, classic Sonic is the one that we all know and love. Modern Sonic actually has two D sections to his levels, which reminds you of classic Sonic, but they do move quite distinctly different. Uh, Sonic does the Plasma Monster Sonic turns on a dime. Classic Sonic kind of has his little skitty stops, his actual floaty jump movement. It all kind of like ties together, real thing. But they each play very differently, and the Avatar does feel different from them playing with Modern Sonic. He's probably closest to Modern Sonic because you're most of the time there. I was just holding down my fire trigger and running through. I uh, imagine it actually be a different matter than what weapons you choose, but the awkwardness of the actual switching, firing to uh, slingshotting yourself from place to place and the fact that it doesn't fluid, it's not as, as fluid as like say a Spider-Man's whip, it's actually like takes a moment and goes huh, fire, spin, so it doesn't feel like you're actually kind of like linking them together as well as you hope they would, but I think that's designed to kind of give you that extra little bit of allowance for time 
because you're watching for the next one that might be coming up because they do target them pretty quick. Um, imagine it could be uh, something that people could get really into playing with the characters, uh, with customization, but no, I, 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 that, that wasn't exciting for me in a lot of ways. <laughs> Give me Sonic Generations 2. Why, why are we doing this instead? <laughs> So um, I'm curious to know why Chaos is involved. I want to know why Metallics, uh, what Metal Sonic is involved. Uh, the fact that Shadow's on the side of the evils again. They already say I'm <laughs> the morally ambiguous Edge Master, and Robotnik obviously as well. So there's a reason why for all the villains to be together on one side. This doesn't appear to be doing the generations thing, uh, where it's like a time travel and worlds are separated off. These are all kind of the this world's versions of all these places. So we could be seeing a lot. Plenty of zones that we've seen previously in games. But I don't think they're right. like like the Sonic, like the modern Sonic one. It seems like they're they're blending from place to place because you're traveling that fast. They're implying like you're traveling so far, you've gone from zone to zone so quickly. And I'm like, all right, cool. I can get I can on board with that. And then of course the classic Sonic level. Uh, that first boss was the first beginning of part of it. The first stage of the boss was very very reminiscent of the first Robotnik bosses in nearly every goddamn Sonic game you've ever fought. Comes in has a thing that swings back and forth, jump over, get the mechanics of it down, get the timings down. And then the Avatar stage just felt like another modern Sonic stage. So yeah, uh, if you were a fan of Sonic Generations, you'll probably really enjoy this. If you're a massive Sonic fan in general, you do not give a crap what my opinion of this is in any way, shape, or form. The only thing I have opinion on in this demo in particular is the fact that it is short. 60 seconds of each level. I might go back and play these at some other point for a little while just to kind of uh, get myself See, if I, see if I can, how far I can get in the 60 seconds, but um, 60 seconds is very, very, very light teaser. The I honestly think giving you 60 seconds and challenging you to go do it faster and faster is a smart way marketing-wise to get people to actually play the demo a bit more, and they may be able to kind of like get people who are going to be more comfortable with the games and join them because of that, because of the nature of speed running uh, a Sonic game is kind of like you, you, you learn the methodology, you learn the patterns of it, and you can go through them pretty fast. But um. No, uh, the, the, uh, for a demo, it's something that actually was meant to try and advertise experience to me. It gave me a lot of opinions, but I'm not going to reinforce them too much in just my first view. You, you, you don't, you don't, they're not, they don't feel like they're anything different than Sonic, the last Sonic Generation game that they've actually added to this, other than they added another furry friend. It just happens to be that this furry friend is one that you make up yourself. And obviously with SPO and the rest of them in the background, that's great, but... <sighs> The, the, the greater critter universe has um, never massively interested me. Um, maybe it's just the fact that I've never really been a, that much of a Sonic fan. Why, why, why do we not have, like, Ristar back? Or, I don't know, Vector Man? Or uh, Booger Man? That was another good one as well. But yeah, the Sonic Forces is actually going to be available for people to buy very, very soon. Um, I think you can pre-order it now on the actual digital stores. And um, Sonic Forces demo will probably be available in your region as soon as possible, but as it is now, it is still only available in the Hong Kong store. So I hope you guys actually go and check it out, enjoy it, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye!